I'm guessing you've clicked on this video because you like the two strand twist hairstyle that you've seen in the thumbnail. Well, lucky for you guys, I'm going to be showing you how I got my mum's hair from this to this. There's a hack that I'm going to show how I got to keep her roots nice and neat, keeping her twists lasting longer. So if you want to see what this hack is, you're going to need to carry on watching. My mum's had this styling for the last three to four weeks. So right now I'm just showing you how her hair has matured and fluffed out and shrunk. And then I'm going to be redoing her hair. So this is not from scratch, but I will be showing you how I've done the parting, how I do the roots and the twists. So now I'm going to be taking my mum's hair down from the top knot style that she's been rocking for the last few weeks. It looks very chic. And in the meantime, whilst you're waiting for me to do this, I'm going to quickly show you some pictures. Here they are of the hairstyles that my mum rocked also whilst wearing this two strand twist hairstyle. Now on my social media platforms, I have had questions asking why I call them pineapple partings. And I've held this part of the video just to show you guys it resembles a pineapple. <laughs> It was something that just reminded me of a pineapple, so therefore I called it pineapple partings. With that being said, let's move on to how I did the pineapple partings. So firstly, before I explain how I did the pineapple partings, I just want to let you know the reason why I chose to do these type of partings is because I find it a lot more flexible, a lot more relaxed than doing box square partings. Reason being is because you've got the C curve of this parting. You can just scoop it with your finger or you can do it with a comb. I'm just showing you with the comb now. But originally I scooped it with my finger so it creates almost like an M shape, like so. And then on top of, in between that M shape, I done another scoop so it creates that layered effect as you would get the pineapple. Okay, so the products you're going to need are mousse. It's optional, but I would require some type of liquid because whether the hair's been in this style and you're redoing it or you're doing it from scratch, you want to get the hair moisturized before you put it back into the style. So what I'm going to be using in this particular instance is the Cantu Avocado Mousse, and I'm just gonna use it to not only moisturize my mom's hair, but detangle her hair also. Then you're gonna need a firm brush, Again, this is optional, you don't necessarily need to use a brush, but you will need to use a fine tooth comb. And to make it look clean, you're gonna need your wax. So I'm gonna be using the red one. So as you can see, now I've actually detangled my mum's hair, combed it out. Make sure the roots are detangled first, guys. You don't want to be trying to smooth down roots whilst there's tangles and knots in there because you're not gonna get the effective style. And to be honest, it's gonna do more harm than good because you're gonna end up ripping out the roots. Then you start applying the wax to keep the hair nice and clean looking. Okay, so the hack. Braiding down the roots. Yes, guys, braiding down the roots. So I'm gonna show you right now how I went from braiding the hair at the roots into the twists, okay? So I start off my braid as I would do with a knotless braid. Feel comfortable however you want to braid, but this is how I feel comfortable getting the braid nice and taut. Don't worry guys, I will slow it down. So right now I've gone from braiding the hair with three strands of hair, three sections of hair, and what I'm going to do is take two sections of the hair and twist them around each other whilst I've got one section free. Then what I do is twist the hair together. Now, you may be thinking, doesn't this mean that one side of the twist is gonna be bigger than the other? No. This is what I do. I take two smaller pieces for my braid to start with and one bigger piece. This one bigger piece is gonna equal those two smaller pieces together if that makes sense. So I start my braid, two smaller pieces, I'll plait, 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 and then the two thinner pieces, I'll twist those together and now they're the same thickness as the strand and then I'll continue so the twist is uniform and equal in size. I hope that made sense. <laughs> Okay, so obviously I've shown you the process and I'm just repeating the process throughout her whole entire head. Otherwise, we will not be having nice, fresh looking twists. All right. Okay, so here I'm showing you the twist, just what I've explained.
Okay, again, this is optional. I'm just doing the sideburns. You don't have to do this part, guys, but if you're looking for a more natural look, then just leave your edges all natural. Nothing wrong with that. If you do want the more fixed, laid, slayed look, do we even use that word anymore? <laughs> I don't know. But if you do want a more pronounced look, let's say, I would suggest using your wax and just zhuzhing up your edges and your sideburns. Okay, so here I'm going to show you the shed hair. Yes, it looks like a lot, guys, but what you have to remember is this is three to four weeks worth of shed hair. Secondly, once moisture is applied to my mom's hair, her hair does start to puff out. So this is not hair that's a vast amount. If I was to flatten it, you'd see that it's not as much as it looks. However, because it has puffed out due to the moisture, it looks like there's more quantity than there is. Now time for the big reveal. And before we get to the big reveal, if you are interested in any of these products in this video, I have my Amazon store, which you can click on right after this video. The link is in the description box. Go ahead, have a look, guys. I've got other items on there for you that you might be interested in, you know. So, as I said, let's get back to the big reveal. So, as you can see, this is the before. My mum's had her hair in the top knot, as I said. So, her roots are looking a bit more squished, where the ends are looking a bit more puffy. And the two long strands that you can see at the back are the ones that I have already done. I've redone them so you can see, just so you could see the length difference in regards to shrinkage. And there you have it guys, the after effect, the after results, the after. <laughs> Very nice, if I do say so myself. And her hair is ready for another two to three weeks maybe, if that's what she wants to do. She does wet her hair, so her hair is getting the moisture. And she does also use a scalp cleanser, which I am going to be showing you in my next video. So, if you are interested how I cleanse my protective style and how my mum cleanses her protective style, then you're just gonna have to wait till the next video. <laughs>